Hey guys, it's Will with Core Performance. This video is the first in a five-part series called Human Cold Stress and Response, directly related to an article in our Insights blog linked in the show notes below. Have you ever wondered just how low the human body temperature can go when it comes to surviving extreme cold? It's mind-blowing. In 1999, a radiologist named Anna Bagenholm was skiing in Norway with two other young doctor friends off the beaten track. When she fell, slid downhill, and landed head first through the ice of a frozen stream. Her friends did everything they could, try to pull her out, but the ice had gotten too thick around her and she had gotten jammed between two rocks. Back at home was now upside down, in heavy gear, and being pulled in by icy cold water. While under, she somehow managed to find an air pocket and struggled to stay conscious while waiting for help. But after 40 minutes, she completely stopped moving. And by the time she was pulled out of the ice, she had been under for about 80 minutes, and she was frozen solid. At that point, she was clinically dead. No heartbeat, no breathing. Her friends immediately performed CPR, hoping that she could still be revived after being airlifted to a hospital. But here's the crazy part. By the time she got to the operating room, a full two and a half hours later, after she went into the ice, her core temperature was a chilling 56.7 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the lowest core temperature ever recorded for someone who actually survived. That's right. She survived. How'd she pull through? A little luck, some would say, but also quick thinking and specialized care, like her friends that did nonstop CPR and the doctors who provided rewarming techniques were key in saving her life. In cases like this, the body goes into deep hypothermia. Your metabolism slows down drastically, almost like it's buying the body time, willing the body to survive. Now, while Anna Bagenholm's case is extreme, it's not completely unique. Over just a five-year period, a hospital in Norway successfully revived nine other people who were in a similar state. No heartbeat, no breathing. And all of them survived thanks to quick medical intervention. But this is not something that we can count on in everyday situations. Most of the time, cold injuries can be serious and even deadly. Hypothermia, frostbite, and other cold-related conditions can cause permanent damage or death if not treated right away. So while it's fascinating that humans can survive in these incredible conditions, it is a reminder of just how dangerous the cold can be. In this series, we explore the basics of cold weather injury, hypothermia, and our physiological responses to cold environments. In the next video, we'll talk cold weather injuries. Stay tuned.